First things first, drain off the butter beans and the potatoes. Cut the potatoes in half so they're around about the same size as the butter beans. Lovely colours on the roast potatoes there, it's looking lovely. Uh, just bear in mind because of the moisture in the tin potatoes, it will spit. After cooking the potatoes for about 10 minutes and getting a nice amount of colour all around the potatoes, we're going to turn the heat down and drop in our butter beans and cook them for another 10 minutes. So we're getting a nice bit of colour on the butter beans and the roast potatoes. These last two are optional, but I'm going to put in a little bit of cumin. Just to give a little bit of bite to the roast potatoes and also this, which is a little bit of garlic powder. So we finished with the roast potatoes and the butter beans. We're going to transfer them to a baking tray and we're going to finish them off in the oven later on. So cut your veg before the kebab's actually cooked. Save yourself time later on. Makes it easier to stack up your lovely pit of breads. So we've got some chili infused tomatoes, some cucumber and some iceberg lettuce. So we're going to shallow fry the kebab meat um, just to get a bit of colour on it and then we're going to transfer it to the oven to finish it off. Flatbread in the same frying pan that you did the donna bala donna kebab meat and also the roast potatoes. Spread it around then because you know it's not going to Right so here we have the finished product, our frozen kebab meat. Hopefully it's better than the takeaway stuff you buy but the test is in the taste so here we go. Mm mm mm. Oh my god. Just like from the kebab house. Mm. Thumbs up. <laughs>